Lesson number 15, Exercises in Analyzing the Transaction Hello guys, kumusta mga kaibigan? In this lesson, we are going to give you examples of transactions and how to analyze them. Analyzing the transaction is the first step in the accounting cycle. Please take note, the analysis takes place in our minds. It is not yet the recording part of accounting. Let us analyze the following 27 transactions of Pamin Tuan Consulting Services using the accounting equation format and the chart of accounts provided to you in lesson number 14. We are going to use the accounting equation as a tool only. Again, this is not yet recording of transactions. The recording part comes after the analysis. You may pause the video to give you more time in reading the transactions. Now that you had finished reading all the transactions, let us analyze them. Again, analysis takes place in our minds. We are just using the accounting equation as a tool to better analyze the transactions. Remember the steps in analyzing the transactions? First, we have to identify the accounts affected. Then, we determine whether they were increased or decreased and by how much. So, if there is an increase in an asset account, it will be shown as a positive amount. If there is a decrease in asset, it will be shown as a negative amount, an amount inside a parenthesis. It is the same thing for liabilities. An increase in liability will be shown as a positive amount, while a decrease will be shown as a negative amount. It's a little bit more complicated for owner's equity. Remember that we can express this account as owner's capital minus owner's withdrawal plus income minus expense. In this exercises, let's just show the effects on these accounts as far as the owner's equity is concerned. So owner's capital increases owner's equity, so it, it will be shown as a positive amount. Owner's withdrawal decreases owner's equity, so it will be shown as a negative amount. If there's an income, it will be shown as a positive amount. And lastly, if there's an expense, it will be shown as a negative amount. Again, we are going to show how increase in these accounts affect owner's equity as a whole. Get it? Let's start. The first transaction Chito Pamintuan invested 100,000 cash to establish a business consultancy firm. Let us analyze the transaction. First step, determine the accounts affected. Remember, a transaction affects at the minimum at least two accounts. The first account affected is cash because Chito Pamintuan invested cash. The other account affected is the owner's capital account. Since we know who the owner is, we can now use his last name. We can use Pamin Tuan Capital. Pamin Tuan Capital is the account that we are going to use to record his investment. Cash increase, Pamin Tuan Capital increase as well. By how much? Cash increase by 100,000, Pamin Tuan Capital increase by 100,000 as well. So this is how we are going to analyze the transaction. So Pamin Tuan Capital increases owner's equity. So that is why 100,000 pesos is shown as a positive amount. Cash increase by 100,000 pesos. So this, the amount is also shown as a positive amount. Remember, the accounting equation should always be equal. Total assets, 100,000, is equal to total liabilities plus owner's equity, 100,000 pesos as well. The second transaction, the business paid 3,500 pesos for the business permit and BIR registration. What are the accounts affected? 
the business paid cash, so definitely cash, is affected. The other account, we can use taxes and licenses in order to record the payment of business permit and BIR registration. The two accounts affected are cash and taxes and licenses. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? There's a payment of cash, definitely cash decrease. Every time a bit the business pays cash, cash will always de be decrease. That is why 3,500 pesos is shown as a negative amount. Payment of cash will be shown as a negative amount in our analysis. How about taxes and licenses? Taxes and licenses is an expense. There is an increase in an expense account. Why did we show it as negative 3,500? Again, in our analysis, we are going to show the effect of income, expense, owner's capital, and owner's withdrawal to owner's equity. So an increase in taxes and licenses is an increase in expense. What is the effect? of this transaction to owner's equity. Owner's equity is decreased by 3,500 because expense decreases owner's equity. Next transaction, the business purchase a desktop computer for 25,000 pesos on credit to be used in the business. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is office equipment. The, the business purchase a desktop computer, we can use the office equipment account to record the purchase of a desktop computer. The other account affected is accounts payable. Why? Because the business purchased the computer on account or on credit. Any purchase on credit can be recorded using the accounts payable account, a liability. So what is the effect of the transaction to office equipment? Office equipment increase. That is why we have 25,000 pesos positive amount. What is the effect to accounts payable? The accounts payable increase because the business purchase on credit. Every time the business purchase something on credit, accounts payable or any payable account for that matter will increase. The accounts affected office equipment increased by 25,000. Accounts payable in liability increase by the same amount, 25,000 pesos. Next transaction, the business purchase bond papers, pens, pencils, memo, and other supplies for cash amounting to 3,200 pesos. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is office supplies. We can use office supplies to record the purchase of bond papers, pens, pencils, memo, and other supplies. The other account affected is cash because the business purchased these supplies for cash. What is the effect of the transaction to office supplies? Office supplies increase by 3,200 because the business acquired these supplies. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? The business purchased these items using cash. Again, every time the business purchased something for cash, cash will always decrease. So what we have here, guys, is a transaction involving assets only. An increase in an asset and a decrease in another asset. The accounting equation should always be equal. The only account affected is assets. We have an increase 3,200 and another decrease by the same amount 3,200. So the effect is zero. So in this case, the accounting equation is still balanced. Assets 3,200 minus 3,200, zero. Liability is zero. Owner's equity is zero. So the equation is still 
balance or equal. Next transaction, the business paid rent in advance for three months, 15,000 pesos. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is prepaid rent. We can use this account to record any advance payment of rent. The other account affected is cash. Take note again, every time the business pays for something, cash is always affected. What is the effect of the transaction to prepaid rent? So prepaid rent increased by 15,000 because the business paid rent in advance for three months. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? There's a payment, cash again will be decreased by 15,000 pesos. Just like the previous transaction, only asset accounts are involved. An increase in one asset and a corresponding decrease in another asset. Next transaction, the business purchase tables, chairs and cabinets amounting to 20,000 pesos. It paid 5,000 pesos and the balance payable in three equal monthly installments. Do you still remember when I said that a transaction affects at the minimum at least two accounts? There are instances, however, wherein a transaction affects more than two accounts. This is one example. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is furniture and fixtures. Furniture and fixtures can be used in order to record the purchase of tables chairs and cabinets. This is the account that you can use in order to record the acquisition of tables, chairs, and cabinets. The next account affected is cash because there's a payment, payment for 5,000 pesos. What is the other, uh, the third account affected by the transaction? Remember, the payment was not made uh, in full, not made in the full amount 20,000, only 5,000 pesos was paid. So the balance, which is payable in three equal monthly installments, should be recorded as a liability, is specifically accounts payable, because it will be paid in the future. So the accounts affected are furniture and fixtures, cash, and accounts payable. What is the effect of the transaction to furniture and fixtures? The furniture and fixtures increase by 20,000 pesos because that is the value of the tables, chairs, and cabinets acquired by the business. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? Again, any payment of cash will uh, decrease the cash account by 5,000 pesos only for this transaction because that was the amount of cash paid to acquire the furniture and fixtures. And the balance, 15,000 pesos, should be recorded as a liability. So accounts payable will increase by 15,000 pesos. Is the equation balance? Yes. Under assets, we have increase of 20,000 pesos and a decrease of 5,000 pesos. So we have a total uh, effect on an asset account, 15,000 pesos. Under liabilities and owner's equity, we have 15,000 pesos. The, account, the accounting equation is still balance. Next transaction, the business paid 3,000 pesos for advertisement in a radio station to promote the business. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is of course cash because the business paid 3,000 pesos cash for the advertisement. The other account affected is advertising expense. We can use this account to record any advertisement or marketing campaign or promotion made by the business. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? Cash is decreased by 3,000 pesos because the business paid 3,000 pesos for the advertisement. What is the effect of the transaction to advertising expense? Advertising expense increase by 3,000 pesos. What is the effect of the increase of advertising expense to owner's equity? 
and increase in expense decreases owner's equity. That is why we are going to show advertising expense uh, with a negative amount. Advertising expense increase by 3,000 pesos, but since we are using the accounting equation and we are going to show uh, the, the relationship of advertising expense to owner's equity, that is why we are going to show it as a negative amount. Next transaction, the business rendered a business consulting service to an IT company for 10,000 pesos. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is cash because the business received 10,000 pesos after rendering a business consulting service to a client. The other account affected is consulting revenue. Consulting revenue is the account that we are going to use to record the income. The income the business had already earned because the business had already completed or rendered the service. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? Cash increase by 10,000 pesos because the business received uh, this amount after completing the business consulting service. What is the effect of the transaction to consulting revenue? Consulting revenue increased by 10,000 pesos. What is the effect of an increase in revenue or income to owner's equity? Owner's equity is increased by an income. So therefore, we are going to show consulting revenue with a positive amount 10,000 pesos. Next transaction. The business paid 10,000 pesos to partially settle the account from the purchase of desktop computer last March 4. What are the accounts affected? The first account affected is cash because there's a payment. The other account affected is accounts payable because there's a partial settlement of an account. When we say partially settle the account, we are actually referring to an accounts payable being paid. What is the effect of the transaction to cash? Cash is decreased by 10,000 pesos because the business paid 10,000 pesos to partially settle the account. What is the effect of the transaction to accounts payable? Accounts payable is decreased by the same amount because there's a partial settlement of the account. When we say partial settlement of the account, the accounts payable was paid. By how much? 10,000 pesos. So the transaction decreased cash by 10,000 pesos and decreased accounts payable by the same amount because there's a partial settlement of the account.